we are going to take the hard drive out of this this bad Mac Mini and we're going to put it in this new one that we got on eBay and then our person will have everything up and running the way it is supposed to go so let's start with the first one to take these apart you use a basically a little putty knife thing and you turn these things over and there are some that are not as uh, wide as other ones you basically just go like this and these things will pull right out come on baby Let's see push that up there we go and there's our first one so this is the one that we're taking the hard drive out of we will start by taking our memory out of course we're doing this all anti-static of course so we're putting this on an anti-static pad ha. okay we'll set this over here on the side and we've got to take the screws out of here one two and then there's one hidden down in here three I think there's only three so we'll grab ourselves a Phillips screwdriver and we'll start with this one there's number one uh, one number one number oh come on magnetic screwdriver two not getting it number three okay and then that pulls and here's the hard drive right here so we need to just take our screws one two and three and then there's one underneath this fan four to take the good hard drive out that we're going to put into the other machine okay we got our first three out now I'm gonna to have to take the fan out in order to get to that last screw okay we got the three screws there and so now we can get to the last hard drive screw there we have it now I can disconnect the hard drive by pulling it forward come on baby come on baby almost there we go there is our good hard drive okay okay now we're ready to open the other one and so this one is kind of a virgin so we'll just oh, sometimes these are tough come on baby there we go we got that side it's like we're just pulling this all the way around okay we'll stick that in there Looking good. <clears throat> there we go. Yank this baby apart. <clears throat> He's pretty dirty inside. And we're, oh, he looks like he needs to be released over here. There we go. Okay. And there we have him. So we're ready to take take him apart. And once again with the three screws, one and two and three. So we'll do that. Okay, so then pulling this apart and you can see this guy is kind of dirty. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so we're going to go outside, use the air compressor Oh, and look at that fan. Use the air compressor and we'll blow this thing out and make it look like new. And then there's the hard drive we're going to be replacing. So maybe we'll even, maybe we'll d take that out right now too, just so that we can get to everything when we take it outside to clean it. Okay, we got the fan undone. Now we're doing our four screws for the hard drive. There's two. This is 
does not take much time. Ugh. Three. And four. And there we have it. And then we'll yank this off of the connector. Come on, baby. There we go. So there is the one that we're taking out. We'll be replacing it with the other one. Okay, so we've cleaned these babies. We've showed you how to do that before. We basically just hit it all with compressed air. Oh, that one could have gotten that one a little cleaner, but look at that. That's looking nice. It looks brand new now. Okay, so okay, so now we're ready to put this back in. And we just put it back in there. Get it flat. Come on, baby. Get underneath those wires. There we go. And then it slides right into that connector. See that? That just slides right in like that. There we go. Now it's in. Now we need our four screws. And the fan back in. Oh, I made a mistake. When I put that connector on, I didn't get the two rows lined up. I'm going to have to take it apart and put it back together again. Anyways, the screws wouldn't line up, and so I knew I must have done something wrong. I don't know if you can see that in there. Well, we'll fix it. I love making mistakes for people. One less mistake for you to make yourself. Anyways, there you go. It's all put back together. And now we'll put the top and the bottom together. So, the fan thing points to the back. It goes just right like this. We'll see if we can do this right live. Looks like we got it. Yep. Now we need our three screws, which I'll just do by myself. Okay, last we got to put the memory in. Make sure you line up your little slot. Looks like that's it there. Pop, pop. They're in. And oh, I forgot to blow out the top. Yeah, I'll just blow it out with my mouth. Okay, and then the top goes on. And you know what? I have so much confidence that I am going to put the top on without trying it. There we go. And our back needs to go together. Oh, I'm not sure why that's not. Just use a bigger hammer. Oh. I might have to take it apart just to look. Up, 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 up. Okay. I ended up taking it apart again. It looks like these things might need to make sure you don't get these bent too far down. And then we'll try it again. Okay. Yeah, we'll just try it right on the video here. We'll get the back in first. Come on, baby. Uh, that looks like that should go on the inside, shouldn't it? I see. How about like this? There we go. And then the front. Okay. Now we're sealed. Looking good. Try it out. Looking good. Looking like we're happy. Yay, yay, yay. Yes, and we have a desktop. Yay.